How's it going everyone? Thanks for joining me today. We got a few different uh, pieces of gear that are made by different manufacturers yet very similar in uh, features. So we're going to go ahead and compare them a little bit today. So uh, first and foremost we got uh, power stations, Blue Eddy and Gold Zero. Then we got solar panels uh, which is uh, Rock Pals versus Gold Zero, uh, both 100 watts. And then um, we're comparing this ice cove. No, I'm just kidding. The white ice cove versus the tan. No, just kidding. Uh, those are just there to have a power source that is equivalent or a power uh, consumption that is equivalent. Um, anyways, let's first start. Um, they are both uh, have 500 watt hour batteries in them. Um, I do believe this one goes down to 80% within 500 cycles and that is that you have not that it's uh, bad after that many cycles just that's how much of your capacity is left after that many cycles you still got plenty of life left in the battery this has an LG automotive grade battery uh, batteries um, and those are rated uh, a thousand cycles 80% up to a thousand cycles um, both have regulated 12 volts, which is a big, big thing uh, because some of these uh, refrigerator coolers uh, have some voltage regulation um, in order to not, they'll sh shut themselves off in order to not kill your battery, uh, like your vehicle battery, because most people run them in vehicles. Uh, I believe both have 300 watt inverters, AC inverters. Some key differences. Uh, where the Gold Zero has one additional, I believe it's a six millimeter port, 12 volt port. That's rated for 10 amps. This kind of shares that power. It's got uh, two ports rated at three amps each. Both have two AC ports for the inverter. Uh, the Gold Zero has uh, a 60 watt power delivery port versus a 45 watt power delivery port and an 18 watt quick charge port and then two uh looks like uh two two point four amp usbs where the goal zero like i said has the 45 watt power delivery it doesn't have a quick charge and then um four usbs that are three amp five volts um another key difference Bluetti has a uh, wireless charging pad on the top uh, and a light on the back built in, um, which is actually a decent light. It, um, it's not very bright, but it lights up a decent amount of area. Goal Zero has a cool feature where it's got multiple inputs and you can charge it from multiple inputs at one time, uh, allowing it to charge really fast. Gold Zero, I believe, has a, a max input of 150 watts. Blue Eddy has a max of 120 watts, so that can charge a little bit faster. However, at 120 watts, this will charge probably in roughly four hours. I think that covers the, the power stations pretty well. Let's move on to the uh, solar panels. They're both 100 watts. Oh, pricing. Uh, this is $430 uh, retail price. Uh, as of right now, through Blue Eddy at their website. They do have uh, like a $59 coupon code available, so that knocks it down a bit. Retail price on this puppy is uh, $6.99, so jumps the price up a bit. Uh, and let's jump right into price on the panels. Gold Zero is $3.99. I believe this one's right around $180, uh, but also you can find it on sale depending on timing and where you're buying it from. Okay, let's see what kind of uh, power input we're getting here. Right now, 74 watts from the rock pails. And we're getting 60 watts from the gold zero. Um, we tried to angle them both as, as similar as possible towards the sun. So I'm not sure what kind of difference is, why, that, why one's putting one out, uh, more power out than the other. I will let you make your own speculations there. Let's see here. As far as size, the Gold Zero is slightly taller than uh, the Rock Pals. 
It has three legs. The rock pile has two legs, but they are uh, pretty uh, wide legs, so it's sturdy. So the, the Goal Zero solar panel has, uh, I believe, some USB outputs directly on it. So does the rock pals. Um, but as far as your main output, it's got an 8 millimeter barrel style. Um, and it is, well, I'll get back to that in a second. The uh, rock pals actually has a, I believe it's Anderson uh, plug style. And it comes with adapters. Um, it also com it comes with a splitter, so you can run two solar panels at one time parallel into this unit um, and then it also comes with uh, adapters for several different uh, plug sizes um, including this does also run off an 8 millimeter barrel port barrel plug um, however we were not able to charge the goal zero off of the uh, rock pals simply because they made their barrel slightly longer uh, or the way it's shaped we can't fully insert this barrel in there. It doesn't reach the, the Properly, I'm sure it will work opposite because they're they're plugs longer um, But yeah, it's one of those things where uh, You might need to, if you want to get this and pair it up with a goal zero you might need to hunt around for uh, an adapter um, But or just go with goal zero brand Let's uh Double check power output again, see what we're seeing. 74 watts still. Uh, 55 watts on the solar panels. All right, let's turn on the refrigerators and see what those are putting out. They do have two settings, max and eco mode. I'm gonna run them both max first. Uh, right now that is drawing 53 watts. Uh, output's jumping all around. 43, 35, 44. 55, 60, 68, 70, 62, 60, 67, 66, 59. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know what's going on here. Let me check. Okay, it's balancing itself out now. Right around 59 watts that one's jumping around a bit anyway so this one is showing a, a steady readout uh, 75 watts in 69 watts out This one has a steady, no, no, 45, 40 watts in, bouncing back and forth a little bit, 50 watts in. Um, output is jumping around, it's settled down a bit, around 53 to 58 watts input. Um, yeah, not really sure why, what's going on. If, well, let's try swapping fridges. Okay, got the my cooler plugged into uh, his battery pack, Mike's battery pack, the Gold Zero. Um, gotta wait for that compressor to turn back on, cycle back up, and then we'll check that. In the meantime, we'll talk about one last product that I forgot to mention in the beginning. Are these tables? Um, they are almost clones of each other. One brand is King Camp. The other brand is Red Camp, if I do remember correctly. Um, they fold up the same. They have these same style sl slats for the tabletop that tip in place. Um, they're roughly the same price. 
depending on sales and stuff like that, I want to say anywhere from eighty to one hundred and twenty dollars, depending on where you buy it and what time you buy it at. Uh, there are some minor differences. Minor differences. The one of the differences is um, these support uh, rails here on the King Camp. It's a, a flat piece of uh, metal with a stamped ridge line in it for structure versus a full tubular bar on the Red Camp. Um, additionally, the King Camp has these plastic uh, push levers for locking it in place, um, where the Red Camp has your standard uh, metal push toggles uh, that you can you can replace if it breaks easily. Um, that not so much. Now on the tabletop, however, that's a little bit back backwards. The King Camp has it where it's got bungee cords run down on both sides with little beads to space it. Um, so if that breaks, that's that's easy to, to get some more uh, bungee cord or rip cord and some beads and run that back through. Where on the red camp, these have more of a linkage um, style all the way down, and they're made out of plastic. So they, if they do break, that's not something that's going to be easily repairable. Um, Possibly, uh, I had you know by contacting the company, they could send out replacements, but that is something to consider. Both tables fold up pretty much the exact same. You do have some pins to pull out on either side that lock the tabletop in place, but then they just fold together nice and easily, like so. King Camp has a strap to hold it all in place, it's not attached. And then for the table, you release the locking points and kind of squeeze in a little bit. One side needs to go down first, that's the side with the uh, inside bars. And then the other side goes down second. And it folds up nice and compact. The King Camp has a bag that opens across the top. I feel like that may be easier for loading. Um, where the Red Camp comes with a uh, tube style, you load it from the top and one end and slide it in. That's kind of a key difference between those two. Um, but other than that, they're both great tables. And roughly the same price so you really can't lose either which way let's get back to the this, uh, this charging or, or out power output yeah it's still bouncing all around it's not um, nowhere near as sporadic as what it, we were seeing initially uh, but it's still bouncing around a bit Maybe it's uh, more sensitive. I don't know, um, but something to note. That should do it for this video. I just want to be able to show and compare and contrast the differences between these similar products um, and let you guys make the decision for yourself, hopefully making the, the decision easier uh, when, you, uh, when it comes time for purchasing these, these products yourself. Uh, if there are any questions or anything, leave them in the comments. I, I always answer every, every comment there is. Um, but thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I, like and subscribe. I said like, like, and subscribe, Alvin Idiot. <laughs> like, like, and subscribe. Like, like, and subscribe. Like, like, and subscribe. Okay, I pointing at you. Like, like, and subscribe. One more time. Like, like, and subscribe. Nope, still didn't get it.
Okay, like, like, <laughs> and then subscribe.